This unboxing has been nearly three years in the coming. I pre-ordered this item on August 14th, 2019 at 1.42 a.m. It immediately went on back order, and that's where it's remained up until now. Will it have been worth the wait? Let's find out. Inside this box is the SD Toys Jaws 3D Poster Diorama. And because it's been nearly three years since I pre-ordered this item, I cannot wait to open it up. So here we go. So here we go. After nearly three years, here it is in all of its glory. They definitely could have used a bigger box for this thing. But here we go. The Jaws 3D poster diorama. It certainly looks pretty cool. <clears throat> the product images on the box look pretty cool and the, uh, the product images on the website uh, that I won't name, I won't mention the website because their customer service wasn't the best, but all the product photos for the diorama made it look pretty cool. But here it is, in the flesh, after my three-year wait. All righty. Okay, pretty cool. So on top of the diorama, we've got the young woman, uh, Chrissy, I believe her name was from the film. Um, I believe she was skinny dipping at the beginning of Jaws, although here she's wearing a uh, swimsuit. I, I get it, you know, you. it's not 100% accurate, but I, I get it. Anyway, you've got a nice water ripple effect here on top of the diorama. But of course, the shark, Bruce, Jaws, whatever you want to call him, um, creeping up from the murky depths to uh, devour young Chrissy. Uh, Bruce is looking pretty uh, majestic inside the diorama. You've got the bubbles on both sides of Jaws' jaws as he uh, ascends to the surface rapidly. His teeth look good. He's got those, those rows of razor-sharp teeth. There's his, his black eyes, like doll's eyes, lifeless until they bite you, and then they roll over white. Not a whole lot of detail on Jaws. You've got some wrinkles here just above his... Uh, Above his jaws, you've got two little slits for his, uh, his, uh, slits. And there's hair on mine. Why is there hair on mine? That's not my hair. There's two long blonde strands of hair. And here's a small blonde strand of hair on my Jaws 3D diorama that I've waited three years to receive. It's got hair all over it. And down here at the bottom, you've got the Jaws logo. On the very bottom of the diorama, you've got uh, Jaws Universal, Universal City Studios LLC, all rights reserved. It's a pretty good size, as you can see, and um, it's got a decent amount of weight to it. All in all, it's pretty cool. I think if you set it up with like a blue light or something behind it, um, that would look really cool. But um, I gotta say, after waiting nearly three years for this thing, um, although it feels good to finally have it, to, to have it in my possession after nearly three years, um, it's cool. It's, it's cool. 
It's it's a cool Jaws 3D poster diorama. Why it was on back order for nearly three years, your guess is as good as mine. Um, it certainly doesn't look like it required a whole lot um, of materials to assemble. I uh, don't know if there was maybe some sort of rights issue with Universal. Um, uh, and then, of course, you had the, the pandemic and that, um, yeah, so. But the moral of this story is mediocre things come to those who wait. All right, it... it it's not mediocre. It's pretty cool. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's a Jaws 3D poster diorama. I love Jaws. I've got quite a lot of Jaws, uh, Jaws collectibles here, and I'm happy to finally be able to add the SD Toys Jaws 3D poster diorama to my collection. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll post some up-close footage of the diorama if you're um, at all interested in picking one up for yourself. Let me know your thoughts on the SD Toys Jaws poster 3D diorama down in the comments section below. If you pre-ordered it, did you have to wait nearly three years for it to arrive, or are you still waiting for it to arrive? I actually noticed several people posting these on social media, and that reminded me, like, hey, I pre-ordered that like years ago and it went on back order. Are, are they, are they now available? And I had to actually go and email the website that I purchased this from to say, Hey, is it available? Am I going to get mine anytime soon? And uh, the website said, email this guy and he'll tell you when you're supposed to get it. So I emailed that guy and that guy emailed me a tracking number. So I guess maybe they were hoping I'd just forgotten about it. I don't know. That's why I'm neglecting to mention the name of the website I purchased this from. But if you did pre-order this from a website, you may want to follow up with them and say, hey, because these are now finally out. But again, let me know your thoughts on the diorama and whether or not you think it was worth the nearly three year wait. One good thing I will say about the diorama is it passes the um, fingerprint test. I'm not sure what this is made out of, but um, if you touch it, it's not going to smudge it. That's a good thing. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, peace.
Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.